Why Gujika Kasa, Why Gujiki Fateh, thank you for joining me, Jag Singh, for another dose of Positive Minds on the Sikh channel. Positive Minds is a program which I love to bring on inspirational and informative people who give us advice and tips on how we can improve our lives and those people around us. After the show, you can download my book on Amazon, uh, Amazon ebook, Unbreakable. Uh, Unbreakable is a story, uh, a book that I've written about my past, uh, my upbringing in East London in the 1970s, surrounded by racism and bullying, and it shows how I got from there to here. So that's Unbreakable, available on Amazon. Download it after the show. And also you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jag Singh I Can. Simply go to your browser and type in Jag Singh I Can, and you can catch up on all previous Positive Minds episodes. Now today I'm gonna to bring on a special guest, uh, Mr. Sarbajit Singh, Sergeant Sarbajit Singh. Thank you, Bhaji, for joining me today on Positive Minds. Thank you very much. First of all, the Sikh channel is my name. Thank you very much for my love and love. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for inviting me to this show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, so, let's start right at the top. Uh, you were 16 years old. Okay, in uh, Punjab, Ambala, and you received an amazing opportunity, amazing opportunity come your way. And that's exactly what Positive Minds is about, an opportunity. What was that opportunity and what happened? So no story, that's about you, can you ask me? Uh, so, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to Opportunity, in the sense, be, uh, you know, nothing was planned, but the one thing I always focused, uh, you know, from my childhood that I wanted to give a purpose to my life. Uh, I wanted to aim for something where I can establish myself. Um, you know, obviously that the journey has been full of challenges, uh, you know, and it has been very quite ad uh, adventurous. Uh, it's never been an easy ride, but I'm quite proud of my you know, Jitantu Sikanaki from East London to where you are now. And that's exactly what I say from Ambala to here I am right now. So it's just wanted to 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 prove myself that, you know, I I can do something, you know, I can achieve that purpose. I can also make my feel you know, I can uh, my parents they can feel proud at me. So it was just like that the focus kinda give me the inspiration and motivation to 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 be who I am today. Uh, Baji, and, and I'll tell you one thing, everybody in, in Ambala, Punjab, you know, around the world watching this right now is, is we're all proud of you. Okay, Your story is amazing. That's why I've got you here today on Positive Minds. Now, you're 16, mm -hmm. you're leaving your family behind, uh, you're going into unknown territory in, in England, okay? And how did you feel, and, and the British Army, and how did you feel when you, when, when you were just about to leave Punjab, Ambala? I was two things. I was nervous and shock <laughs> because he was just leaving the country, you know, where they just see your parents, family, friends, you see birthday, or your sarang chanti cake, si thang de aaj the you you don't know anyone. Um, but I was quite lucky to have my family and friends around here as well. Especially, uh, you know, we talk about this opportunity, jita ki asi ka, you know, the opportunity come uh, through uh, my brother, jada mera chota bhai asi ka, he joined the army. Before. Would you like to see Naki sir, please, brother, please? Uh, uh, Adarsh Pal Singh. Adarsh Pal Singh. Uh, he's in Iraq at the moment. Uh, he's away for a deployment. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure he's uh, he's uh, safe down there. And of course, always watching. Um, so, I wanted to, uh, you know, I was focused on the purpose uh, that, that I want to achieve something in my life. So, we are talking about 25 years ago, when I was thinking about it, 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 it seems very unreal, you know, that it was not going to happen, but it hard work, it was dedication, ne, you know, was Chino Sach Sabit Kita or through his support, through my initial days of selection and training, actually, you know, uh, you know, it's definitely a great support from him and a contribute, you know, that, that definitely credit goes to him. Superb. Uh, what is your position and, and duty within the British Army, please? Uh, my current role, uh, uh, sorry, my current rank is Staff Sergeant, um, and I am based at uh, Army Training Centre at Pearl Bright, uh, and I'm SQMS down there. 
so basically the jada army training center uh, it's 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 a it's a phase 1 training establishment jo tusi army join karde ho then you go through phase 1 and then phase 2 training so we we deal with the phase 1 training and it basically is a 14 week training program which gives you the basic skills and drills allow uh, um, a civilian to uh, transit into the army life and then obviously taking those skills forward and utilizing them to be a better soldier uh, you know through the army career so it is a quite huge responsibility but it's also quite hard working at the same time because you know uh, to see hamesha on the nalo they need so many things you know that's whether that's a welfare support you know that's you know that obviously they leave the families for example like 17 year old uh, young or girl or boy you know left their the family behind whether that's from england or from india or from any part of the world you know and they're just coming here similar situation to where i was so i can relate that sort of things uh, to their situation and that's why i try my best to uh, support as much as i can obviously uh, within the limit and hopefully make their journey comfortable so they don't have to feel uh, they don't have to face what i what i faced during my time so it's just all about coaching mentoring and supporting those young soldiers uh, through the career uh, but you might exit gaga right now if i was joining the army and i saw your welcoming face i i would feel so comfortable and and, and you know so so though you just got that amazing aura around you and and it's, it's not only just a welcoming face I understand you've done some tours in afghanistan so you have seen the tough and the rough but that experience i take it you, you share with these guys and and how you got away how you got through it absolutely yeah absolutely uh, because one thing in the army which i'm quite grateful is the whatever you do you always doesn't matter what rank you are doesn't matter what job you do it doesn't matter where your trade is you always learning something and you know you have to because otherwise you know you're not, you're not going to fit into that sort of criteria and i'm quite lucky enough that i have done uh, three tours of afghanistan i have deployed on various exercises across the world you know and i quite uh, have done the sort of diversity range of work within the army whether that's been my trade whether that's been uh, the section commander or whether at the phase 1 training or you know doing all this military courses so whatever experience i have i try to utilize it to to the betterment of others because you oh you experience sorry kaise kaam da nahi hai ga you to kisi hor da use nahi aa saka that's that knowledge is waste you know it's not useful so obviously if i can uh, pass my experience you know if we if we can benefit them why not because at the end of the day it's looking after everyone you know just creating the team bonding cohesion and sort of the, the family sort of you know because army is a big family once you when you once you enlisted then you class as a family member so you need to look after as you would do in the family uh, household you know with this younger brother sister you know or your older um, parents or things like that so that that the sense of belonging you know that's that's must and you can only do by doing all this little helps this extra helps you can uh, and maharaja uh, guru nanak dev ji right he he started he was the first messenger to send the great message of ethnic diversity and then that's why he got up on there as he back up on there and that message is so nice to know that you are a representative in the army who who today in this time is sending that message so congratulations subjit thank you paji i always try my best you know i always lay intentions always there to to be the good and benefit of others rather than myself and and i think you've been very humble there because i, I think you only try your best i think you go beyond your duty because i understand that you got an mbe is, is that right uh, that's right paji i got awarded mbe uh, during the new year's list this year yes how did you feel oh, it's unreal it's unreal i mean it took me almost 3 and 1/2 months to actually realize that uh, i actually got it and purely but paji but the reason ki yeah because I make the meaning is that I never expected that I would achieve such a prestigious award because it's beyond your imagination. All I was focused that again I said that going back to the purpose because I like quite linking to the purpose because the purpose does play a massive part in your life on your mental health and your inspiration and motivation as well because if you haven't go if you haven't got the purpose in your life you kind of you lost and then you're just wandering everywhere. So that's why you got to stay focused all the time and you put all you channelize all your energies into achieving those those aims so this happened uh, basically in 2018 i was elected as a chairman of uh, defense seek network and again that was another purpose in my life uh, so when i took over as a, a chairman so the purpose of that time i was okay i need to 
establish this defense seek network basically it is a core service so it incorporates um, army RF Navy and civil servants as well who works within the military establishment or across you know across the defense um, so I said it's, it's a really good platform it's a really good initiative by the army you know or by the defense to to give us that diverse range so we can come forward and and sort of, I can highlight our concerns. So then I said, okay, now I've got this platform. I need to engage. I need to work as a bridge between the defense and the Sikh community or the ethnic minority. Uh, so we were doing a lot of uh, community engagements. We're doing a lot of charity works. We're doing a lot of um, uh, promoting the army, changing the perception of uh, ethnic minority that army is not all, not all about lifting a weapon going out and shooting and people it's not it's more than to that uh, you know there's a full of opportunities there um you know so it's, it's all about just putting the positive mindset positive perception of the army so that linkage that that obviously the, filling that gap it was a quite uh you know it was a lot of hard work um and my chain of command you know recognized that hard work and obviously you know they were doing at the background which i wasn't aware of it until the, the, the morning you know when it was announced and found out and that's why i was shocked and stunned to to receive such a such a big news and i'm very thankful to 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 the god and to everyone else oh brilliant uh, but it's i love your story because that 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 boy that 16 year old boy who 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 took the challenge on you know he was nervous you like you said before but you took the challenge on and you said you know i'm going to go and give it my best shot and and you've gone beyond your duty and that's what positive minds is about bringing on people like you who are ex living example to everyone that you know if you get the opportunity in life take it and how do your family how does your wife and your children how do they feel about your your achievements uh, I mean, obviously, they are the biggest contribution to my success uh, till date, and obviously, many more to come in the future with uh, with God of God's grace. Uh, you know, I've been married for uh, ten years. My wife Monica, uh, and I've got two kids: a uh, boy who's nine, we can sing, and my little cute princess. Uh, she's six years old, I'm Uh I mean, without them, it wouldn't have been possible. Uh, so, going back to my the last uh, sort of. Uh, you know, big role as a as a ex chairman of Defence Seek Network. I was pretty much working seven days a week, and it was long working hours because I was doing my regular job, which was my prime job, and on top of that, that was extra responsibility. It was on it, so I was pretty much out every weekend. So, luckily with Monica's support, I didn't have to worry about that. Oh, you know what? I'm missing out. You know, this weekend now I cannot spend the time with my family. But she never complained about it. She understood that's a huge responsibility, and she supported me well. So definitely wouldn't have been without uh, Monica's support at all. Obviously, then my friends uh, on the same time, my work colleagues, uh, my chain of command who gave me the time to to do whatever I wanted to do it. I was quite passionate about it. So it was just more like a team effort with the with the family, friends, and work colleagues. So. I'm always, always, always grateful to them, and without them, it, it wouldn't have been possible. But did you have thought that be there, or they're thinking about? Yeah, somebody say, look, look, watching right now is thinking they want to join the army. That he advised you or you to them. What would you say to them? Um, my advice would be, Baji, to to all the future uh, young soldiers, you know, uh, to to be qualified uh, to do as many as things you can and do it as early as you can. Army is full of opportunities, right? But you need to find them. Once you find them, then you need to seize them because, and then, ex, you know, and use those opportunities to benefit your future, your career, because obviously it's going to be challenging, but it is, uh, is going to be rewarding as well. But, but yeah, the story comes to my mind. I, I, when, I was, when I was young, when I was about 13, I used to play action man with my, with my friend and we were mm -hmm. army soldiers and tanks and we used to have all these lines going across. We pretend like we're attacking each other with, with action man. And I don't know, I see Dippy, Dip there, she's not. And, and he always used to say to me, he used to say to me, Jack, do you know what? I'm going to join the army one day. And, and, and I really am. And I said, well, yeah, OK, yeah, whatever. We played action man and, you know, played for hours. And I remember about three years ago, I, I went to my mum's house in Upton Park and I saw this tall guy with an army uniform on walking down the road and he had the green bag and everything. And he looked this way and, and I looked back and I went and he looked again at me and, and it was it was Dippy, my friend, Diptesh. And I went up to him and said, no, nah, you didn't really go and do it, did you? He goes, Jack, 
I always had it in my heart that I wanted to be in the army. I am now part of the Royal Air Force. And I thought, wow, brilliant. You know, and from 12 years old, he has this seed in his head with little action man toys that he wants to be part of the army. And he, and he went and done it. And, and, and I love that. I love that, you know, people follow through their ambition. Like you said before, we have to find a purpose. Uh, my friend Dimitri found a purpose in, in, in the Royal Air Force, you know, and, and, and you, yourself as well. So, so there you go, guys out there as subjects, as sergeant subjects, things I said, you know, find that purpose you know just like my friend Diptesh did as well um I did not only have you successfully completed your army duties okay and, you. and, and be honest you got beyond your duty but I also understand that you've been involved in some great charity work please tell me about that buddy um yes of course by you doing my tenure as a chairman of defense seek network and said that you know purpose was to to get this network forward and bridge the gap and you know then having more interaction with the community than the one 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 perspective the one angle we were looking through is getting involved uh, with it with the charities uh you know doing some charity work so you know representing the army in uniform going out and doing that so at one event at trafalgar square i met uh the ceo of carl side budget uh carl Sai, and then obviously quite interesting man you know quite a, you know is very passionate about what he does and you know obviously salute to, to the to the legend and the hero uh, so you know I, and i down to earth personality. So I went to speak to him. I said, I said, but look, you know, is there any way we can we can help out? If he, is there is there any opportunity? So we kind of requested them. And obviously he's being ex RAF, so you know he understood what we meant, and then he very kindly accepted our request, and he invited us to support their uh, annual Snowdonia walk, which you know they do it every year down in Snowdon around June July time to raise the money for the for the uh, for the charity itself, and uh, so we went out two years in a row. Uh, we went out there to to you know just doing you know just lining up the, the route uh helping out any vulnerable people any older people who were struggling motivating them you know just having a chat with them you know just diverting their minds so they don't look at the top and say look it's quite steep i can't make it so just you know just changing their mindset in a, in a positive way and also at the same time if anyone was injured which we had we have seen few giving a first aid the initial sort of first aid so you know the, to to uh, in, in the meantime and we we are very humbled um you know uh, for for this opportunity because that gives us the, the massive sort of like the the face you know at the front with the, giving us the opportunity to to link with our community you know to have a chat again changing their perception and we have also worked with the um nishkam seva in london as well you know serving food to helpless people in the street um so um, they were happy to, for us to be on the board as well uh, on, on, on the board as well because it's, it just works both ways so that mutual respect you know so but it was quite great and we were also doing some sort of like the charity events to raise money which is for example uh, mental health awareness um, you know, doing 24 hour challenges. We have so many colleagues who's doing different things, especially during pandemic as well, to raising the money for, for the charity. So it's, it's just been a really, really good experience working with both charities. We have learned a lot and hopefully we, we continue to work with them in the future, obviously, once these restrictions are lifted. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will, Subjit. I'm sure you will. But you can ask you a question. Out of what three, I mean, you had many qualities and that you, before you went into army, because you have to, because you have to have the right mindset. But during, what, since you've been in the army, what three qualities would you say that you have gained from the army? Uh, but it's just quite a tough one to, to answer in the sense because, you know, you, once you join the army, you're in a different world in the sense of, you know, um, you know, you become confident. For example, uh, you know, when I joined the army, I hardly could speak English, you know. The, you know, when I was going through the basic training, I was, you know, the laughter stuff. People were laughing at my pronunciation, but I didn't took that offense. But I, I, I used that as, as, as a positivity, as, as my strength. You know, if they're laughing at me, I need to change the perception rather than me being, you know, so, oh, you know, I'm being, that's very offensive. You know, how can they do that to me? And I just shut myself. But no, I, I'm always open to challenges and I always wanted to prove myself, no. You know, if if they think I can't I can't do this, I will show them. I will show it to myself that I can do it. So by by doing that, I can do, uh, you know just changing their mindset. But the one thing I the, the main thing I learned was the mental resilience, which covers three key things, which I always do: is the change, adaptation, and innovation. 
because if you have the mental resilience you can easily change your mindset you can easily change where you are you can easily uh, you know adapt yourself okay this doesn't suit myself now i need to look at through a different angle or i might just change my approach to this and by changing this approach that means you're coming with a different ideas to to deal to you know to dealing with the daily challenges you face whether that that's on operational or whether that's you know you're working in a normal regiment or you're dealing with any sort of things in daily life so key things I would say definitely is the change, adaptation and innovation. Superb, superb. Um, so, Jid, I've only got a few minutes left. Unfortunately, these interviews just go so fast, especially when you have you guys on it speaking the great stuff you do. Um, very, very quickly, what would your advice be to the next generation? Uh, by, my advice would be just, you know, listen to your heart and then just find that purpose. Once you find that purpose, just focus on that and channelize to all your energy what you can because you know you, you can look so many examples around you look at yourself by you you know the, the, the officers reading your story or hear your story um and obviously so many other things are there you just need to find that purpose without that purpose you will be lost so uh please keep motivating yourself you know keep inspiring yourself and there's plenty of opportunity and i'm sure you can all do well Thank you. Um, so, Jeet, from Punjab, Umbala, uh, to to the United Kingdom, to someone who, who who couldn't speak English, and you know, like you just said, people used to laugh at you, and, and and to see the perfection that you speak with today, do you know, I've got one thing to say to you, sir. Salute. Buddy, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your kind words and respects, and thank you very much for having me on your show. And you will be coming on there again, I promise you, because I think the guys out there, they're, they're going to be so motivated by you. Uh, Baji, listen, I wish you all the best in the way of everything you're going to do. And thank you so much today for joining me on Positive Minds, buddy. Hey, thank you very much. So there you go, guys. Sarabjit Singh, Sergeant Sarabjit Singh, uh, all the way from Punjab to Ambala. OK, he, he came here and, and he's made a difference and I'm sure he's going to continue to do so. And that is one of the amazing messages we send out on Positive Minds. And that is, you know, find your purpose, find your passion, build around it. OK, and just keep moving forward. So there you go, guys. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me and Sergeant Sarabjit Singh today on Positive Minds. Keep smiling and keep moving forward. Wai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guru Ji Ki Fateh.